Welcome back to yet another RMD Tech video. And this time you're joining me from the brand new RMD Tech office. It's the first video in the office, so sit down and I hope you enjoy. Today, we're gonna to be answering the question that absolutely nobody was asking. Can you play games and game competently without graphics drivers? Well, it's a question that not many people ask, but it's one that needs answering. Typically, when you install Windows, Microsoft provide what's known as a basic display driver adapter. And what this does is that it pretty much allows your graphics card to communicate with Windows so that you can get the bare bones experience and install your proper drivers from Nvidia or AMD. It's not designed for gaming, but what happens when we try and push it to its limits and really stretch out as much performance as possible using the display driver made by Microsoft? Well, stick around because in today's video, I'm gonna be getting my RX 6800 and testing it out with Microsoft's basic display adapter to see what games we can actually play without any software from AMD. So in theory, the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter should work for playing games in 2021. It provides all the basic necessities required to open and play the games. It just doesn't include the optimizations that might come with an Nvidia or AMD driver. So our first step to test this hypothesis is going to be to absolutely nuke any traces of AMD software from my computer. The way to do that is simple. There is a very basic but effective program called DDU. Display Driver Uninstaller. It's a piece of software that has been around for absolutely years now. But there's a reason it's still around. It's because it's easy, effective, and free. You can use it for uninstalling your graphics drivers, for when you sell your PC, or if you just want to upgrade your graphics card. That's what it's designed for. However, today we're gonna to be using it to remove any traces of our graphics driver from AMD so that we can just run the bare metal Windows drivers. Once all our drivers are removed and the PC's rebooted, it's time to begin testing games. So whilst DDU is getting to work in the background, how about I tell you all about today's sponsor, Comp City Giveaways. They've got all sorts of competitions available which allow you to get great consumer hardware such as graphics cards, CPUs and entire gaming PCs at a fraction of the price. You can enter one of their raffles using the link in the video description and don't forget to use my code RMDTech10 to get 10% off any purchase. So let's check back in and get gaming without any graphics drivers. Okay then, so let's kick things off by trying a little bit of Rocket League. It's a really basic game that can run on a potato, so maybe it can run on the Microsoft Display Adapter as well. Okay, so straight away Rocket League has started and it is looking buttery smooth, I have to say. We're running at a gorgeous 4 FPS. Whew. Try not to get too excited, ladies and gentlemen. But that's okay, this is just a menu. Perhaps it will improve when we actually get into a game. Oh, and look at this. Our FPS is already skyrocketing. We are at 30 frames per second. Whew. Okay, so we are in the game. And, oh yeah, our FPS has tanked. It is down to three FPS. In fact, the game is just completely unresponsive. This is, oh, this is not going well. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this is very PowerPoint presentation-esque. But never fear, let's see if we can improve things by changing our graphic settings. Because as far as I'm aware, they're still pretty high. Yes, okay, so let's... Let's take these all the way down to high performance and see if we can get a playable experience. Okay, and we're even gonna go, oh, I was gonna say we'll go down to 720p, but it won't let us. So, it won't let us because the drivers just don't support it. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how much of an FPS boost we get from turning the settings down. Are we gonna hit that 60 FPS average? We have doubled our FPS. I think I saw a 6 FPS figure in there, but my god, this is uh, this is painful. You, you, you cannot play Rocket League on the Microsoft Basic Driver Adapter, okay? This is confirmed. Rocket League does not work, but let's try something else. Okay, so let's try playing something old. Just Cause 2 is a game I used to play in my childhood, and this is actually a game that ran really surprisingly well 
on our Wish graphics card. So perhaps if it can even run on a Wish graphics card, it can run on the Microsoft Display Adapter. And if it can't, then that is confirmation that Chinese scammers are better driver programmers than Microsoft themselves. But so far, this is looking promising. This is, you know, significantly better than Rocket League, already running at double digit FPS. We're looking at 19 here already, with CPU usage at about 96%. Now that is mental considering that I'm running a Ryzen 5 3600 and this game came out over a decade ago. So what we can see here is that CPU usage absolutely skyrockets when you try doing anything intensive with the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter installed. I don't know what the CPU usage would be under typical circumstances, however I can tell you for a fact it certainly wouldn't be in the 90% range. Okay, so here we are in the game and, mm, okay, no, we've, the menus were promising and there we go, DirectX, fatal error. The, the game has crashed. We were in the game for maybe a couple of seconds, but no, that is it. We have crashed, but that's OK. Perhaps we'll have better luck playing Minecraft. OK, then. And straight away, OpenGL is not supported by the driver. What a surprise. And Minecraft has also crashed. But Minecraft didn't always run on OpenGL, so perhaps we'd have better luck running an older version of Minecraft. Perhaps we could even go back as far as one of the betas or alpha versions and see if that will run. Bear in mind, Minecraft is very, very unreliant on the graphics card, so it should be fine. It runs perfectly well on integrated graphics, so perhaps we can get something running on an older version. And again, we've had another crash. Bad video card drivers. Minecraft was unable to start because it failed to find an accelerated OpenGL mode. So, okay. Again, even running an older version such as Minecraft 1.2.1, we've got no luck and the game has crashed. But that's fine. There are other games out there. How about we try something browser based? How about something like agar.io? Oh my god, this game has changed so much since I last opened it. It's been monetized. <laughs> this is disgusting. Okay, um, I just want to play how... No, there we go, where's the play button? Right. Will this work? I can see adverts. Adverts are supported by the Microsoft Display Driver. Congratulations, Kipling, you got in the video. Right, let's just play though. And there we go. Officially, the Microsoft Display Driver does support playing games such as agar.io. I mean, this is a pretty jittery experience. It's, it's not the best. However, it does seem to be playable. Oh, he says, but... The game, oh, the game froze for a second there, but for the most part, we're, we're doing okay here. No, okay, yeah, the game just keeps freezing. So, whilst you could probably get away with playing this, I probably wouldn't recommend it. So this leaves us in an interesting position. Should you actually do this? Well, the answer is obvious, surely, at this point. Obviously, you should not be doing this. Microsoft's basic display adapter was never designed for playing games. In fact, its entire purpose is to exist so that you can see the screen whilst you install the correct drivers for your graphics hardware. The reason you need a driver is because a driver is what allows your hardware to communicate with your operating system, so that it knows how to best utilize all of the resources available to it. So no, you should not try gaming on the Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, though you probably could find a couple of games that it will run, agar.io unfortunately being one of them. So if you did enjoy this video then be sure to hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.